There's a new chart making the rounds on social media, and it's easy to misinterpret what it's telling you. It appears to say most people dying of COVID-19 lately are actually fully vaccinated. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact-checking it. Now, what this chart shows is deaths in vaccinated people now outnumber those among the unvaccinated. But an expert tells me it leaves out a very important detail, how old those people are. Look closer at this chart you may have seen online. At some point after February, weekly deaths in vaccinated people surpassed those who didn't get a vaccine. That's the black line moving over the blue one. But UNC doctor David Weber says what it's missing is age. Most of the cases we're seeing now of deaths, or many of them, are in older people, much like we saw two years ago. The majority of older people, in particular because of their risks for COVID, are vaccinated. So it's not surprising if the majority of people are vaccinated, even if the vaccines are working, the majority of deaths will be in people who are vaccinated. That's why the chart from the State Department of Health and Human Services includes a key phrase, age adjusted. The real question is not what percentage of deaths or hospitalization are in vaccinated or in unvaccinated. It's by age, what's the risk of death in vaccinated versus unvaccinated uh, individuals. And because we know immunity fades over time, it also highlights how important boosters are, including the ones coming soon that target the Omicron variants. So that's really the question that you need to ask is vaccinated versus unvaccinated, what age group, and then did you have two, three, or four doses? And in my story online, find out why Dr. Weber compares those COVID deaths to car wrecks. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. Jody, thank you.